Hello my lovely Virgo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel. Now we are going to do weekly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, South April 10th through to 16th, 2023. What an interesting week we do have on Tuesday. You, I hope the weather is nice, okay? So you will be able to see five planets, like a fashion parade. Yes, alignment, well, that's what it's called. And Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Mer Mercury and Uranus will be able to be seen. Interesting. I hope you can see that. This must be a significant sight. Alrighty. How are you doing anyways? I really hope you're doing great. Subscribe, like and comment as well. Alrighty. What do we have for you? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. What do we have for you right now? What's going on? Mm, okay. The tables are turning. Out of blue, and I have this feeling around this week as well. A lot of signs got the similar kind of energies. Out of blue, you are going to get some monies in. And you know what? It could be like you might get some bill in or some sort of bill that you need to pay. And you'll be like, oh, my God, I completely forgot about this. I don't know how to pay this. And out of blue, you might actually receive another letter saying you actually there was some tax outstanding or there's some sort of monies were due to you. Or you get some, some little kind of bonus or promotion or something along the lines. Or you might be actually uh, selling some stuff from your home. OK, and it's just happened that, that money was coming finally in all right maybe someone must might have owned you money and they decided to bring it back to you it will come unexpectedly and it's not like winning a lottery it's not like inheriting anything but it's something unexpected that you were not expecting to see it could be as well maybe you need to go and buy some uh i don't know children's clothes or a new car or something and you were planning okay it's gonna cost x amount of money and actually you actually get better deal so you don't have to pay as much, okay? And you're like, okay, this is great. This is unexpected income. This is unexpected, some sort of um, support that you needed. It kind of releases that pressure, you know? But it can't, again, it doesn't have to be just with money. There could be that you might be in a situation where you need some help. You need some advice, okay? Either this is regarding a relationship, this could be regarding work, maybe you need to travel and you have no means for it. Or whatever that is, the situation you might find yourself in. And the solution is going to come. It feels like it's like a hand above. It could be some of your angels or God is coming to help you. So keep your thoughts heavenwards and ask for guidance, okay? Ask for help as well. It's coming your way when you need it. And you will, it's kind of like you least expect that. And sometimes those little things, I have to say, sometimes those little things or the moments in life are the ones that are most magical. Okay, look at that. You're going to be really smart. Okay. Bouquet and fox. But you know what bouquet is? It's a gift. Again, you've been given a gift. And I have to say, and this gift is such, it's yourself it's your smarts it could be some sort of detail that someone might have been and i have to i don't want to go like a negative kind of thing but there could be someone may have written some sort of uh i don't know um invoice to you and you for example you have no means to pay it okay but you can debate saying look the date is wrong and the amount is wrong and and my name is not right you send it back and you just gain time you're just being smart Use that, your gifts, whatever it is, analyzing, looking into detail to your advantage positively, okay? Now, it's so interesting, foxes are very interesting because they are very, um, especially city foxes, they do adapt. And this is kind of being adaptive and finding positives, finding solutions rather than looking for problems. And you have some sort of interesting, I have to say, a lot of a lot of signs get that. A lot of people and a lot of signs are going to discover their um, talents. There are little kind of hobbies that could be turned into money. Um, some sort of, maybe you are good to speak to, speaking to people and you can actually shine your um, talent at work, okay? Or you can hone in your um, um, qualities and progress, okay? Use what you got, you have more than you think you have. Either this is qualities, abilities, talents, um, hobby that could be turned into money. Various things. Okay. 
Here we go. Temperance. Here we go. Come. We have um, our letters coming your way. Temper is an interesting one. You're kind of like dipping toes in unknown waters. And look, the weather's changing. So the rain is over and the sun is shining. Okay. So there's some positive news coming your way. Look, and they're happening quick. It's just going to happen like that. Quick, quick, quick. There could be some of you actually traveling somewhere. Either this is for work or seeing someone and making decisions or, yeah, travel is on its cards. But it could be not just physical travel. It could be um, moving up the ladder at work or uh, moving away uh, from poverty thinking to positive thinking. There is some energy movement. Look, this is the energy. The similar kind of sign. It's eternity sign that strength has, which is talking about courage, right? Indeed, yeah. And the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. And you're kind of looking what it is that is working, that what it is that you can improve. Either this is a relationship or this is at work or your life in general. But you're going to have a lot of insights. You will have some like a light bulb moment. You will have a lot of energy and wisdom insight coming your way. And it will make you kind of rethink the whole either your life or the way you were working and living. Okay. But this is going to happen pretty, pretty quick, interestingly. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's dive further. Virgo. What else we have for this week? We have the lovers, Gemini. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. Two Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Death card, Scorpio. You're coming away from the poverty thinking. Look, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Because you are really, okay, and this is good to see. You, If you have experienced some low lows, no more. The, the time is coming. The time is coming to end. And it's you are finding your way up. And now you've got actually opportunities and op options which you're narrowing down, down to two from seven and trying to figure out. Maybe you are planning to, I'm going to start one work and I'm still working another job. Okay, there could be some little bit, some juggling happening. But it's for better. It is definitely for better. Some of you guys, it might not resonate with everyone. You are going to have some good, good offers, proposals, promotion coming your way. And either this is um, relationship-wise or work-wise as well. Because this is card of family. This is card of love and, and, and divine energies that are surrounding by love and in relationships. It's a really uplifting. There's a lot of movement happening. Oh, yeah. And I, I have to say, collectively collectively there's a lot of energy shifts are happening around right now you including Virgo you including okay justice Libra oh wow you will be in a situation where you have to make decision and make decision uh might not be as easy as you think but you are gonna get there you're gonna get there Okay, it feels like it's money related. Okay, money related or work-wise related. Maybe some of you are thinking, okay, do I need to travel to work where I'm spending X amount of petrol? Maybe I can start to do something nearer so I can actually focus on my own ideas that I want to do. Okay. And it's something could be that is coming near in the October time as well. Maybe it's something that you are planning ahead. It might not be known, but you might say, okay, I'm going to, next six months, I'm going to this and I'm going to uh, come October time. I will you know, change it. Okay. It's interesting. Knight of Cups. So again, we have another Knight of Cups. So there's some proposals. There's some great energies. And it feels like whatever you're doing here, um, this income, extra income on and changing yourself, maybe you're wanting to change your outer look, you know, culling, culling your hair or uh, putting on weight or losing weight. Something, there's some physical changes as well. Because two pentacles is like the, you know, emperor holding the world in the hands and you are back in the power. You're deciding. You're deciding what you want to do. you got options. You have two, two pentacles here. Two pentacles there. Two, two pentacles, yes. And you are like two worlds you're having and thinking, okay, which way I'm going to go. Okay. 
but you have options so there's not just you are like i have nothing okay it's just the making the, the right decision and judgment and the world wow wow you got another seven of cups there's there's going to be a lot of either opportunities options available to you and i hope you don't get head scrambled because of it but you're gonna finish the cycle off because the world is kind of wrapping things up and preparing yourself for the next stage it might not be significant as big big life changes but this little change might affect you a big time okay those sometimes those little kind of steps that you make and improve and change your life they all mount add up into a big one all righty my lovelies thank you so much for being here have a blessed week and i'll see you guys right in the next reading take care my lovelies Ta -da.